Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. It's your girl Shay. I missed you guys since the last time. <laughs> but um yeah, y'all, I'm back with another video today. Um, I was thinking about something last night and I was talking to something over with my mother the other day about a young lady um that's in the gospel industry she's in the gospel music industry. And she also preaches as well. And we were discussing certain things about um, this young lady. And um, there has been a lot of talk about this young lady. I will not say who that is. But, um, oh, I might, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm very up and down. Um, but I've learned a lot. Um, I've learned a lot in these, what is it, 19 years of being a Christian. And one of the things that I have, one of the things that I have learned is that religion is a demon. Religion is a demon spirit who tentacles run long and they run deep. This demon, it causes people to be judgmental, overly critical, and non-progressive. What do I mean? Um, this demon will cause you to become a bully. It will cause you to come become nasty, very mean, um, very rigid, um, you're stagnant. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what that spirit does. And it does not allow you to experience the fullness of who God is. It does not want you to be I'm going to say it, it doesn't want you to be wealthy mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and even financially. This spirit will cause you to make excuses as to why you can and you won't go after the things God says that you can have. You, it will give you, it will cause you to make excuses as to why you can't be all that God has called you to be. It will cause you to make excuses as to why you cannot live the life that God has called you to live. And I said that because when me and my mother was discussing this young lady, there has been talk about how her hair was looking at a at a at a basketball game she had to sing it. And they had a lot of talk about the makeup and the dress of style of dress that she was wearing. I mean, a lot to say. Um, some some of it was right, but and some of what the things that people are saying are right, but they don't apply to her situation. See, and and, and I'm going somewhere with this, y'all. Y'all stay with me. I'm going somewhere. Um, when when you say a thing that is correct. Make sure it is appropriate for the situation you're in. There was um, a video. What I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. A few years ago, a young man got put out of a classroom. A little white guy got put out of a classroom for not doing something that the teacher told him. And he went off on this rant. And a lot of the things he was saying in the rant were true, but it didn't apply to him. Okay. So that's what that's that's what I'm getting at with this. A lot of things that were, that are being said about this young lady are true, but they don't apply to her. See, that's what that's another thing that religion does. It will make you say things that have a lot of biblical based is issues, a lot of biblical based truths in them, but it it helps you to place those biblical truths in the wrong area. This demon called religion 
does not want you to look like who God says you are. Yes, God does have a standard. God does have statute and he does statutes and he has commandment. He does. He, ha he does for men and women. He does. But see, what we have done is we've slid. I'm falling out all over the place. <laughs> we, instead of just following God's order, God's plan, what we do is we slide our flesh into that. And the two collide. And they create, a, and it's a mess has been created. And we as people have got to watch that demon. We have told people for decades that God hates makeup. He hates have he doesn't like for us to get our hair done. We always got to wear dresses. We can't go anywhere. We can't do anything. They, I, I have even heard it said years ago that being an actor in a Broadway play was sinful. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that. I've heard, you know, that you couldn't go to the movies because that was a one-eyed demon you were looking at. Now, here's, 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 here's the deal. Paul said all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. What you can do, I can't do. And what I can't do, you can do. And what I can't do, you do. Now, now, we do we have to be careful about how we're presenting ourselves as people of God? Of course. Do we have to be careful about what we look at on TV? Of course. Because certain things that are in our, in our world and in our atmosphere have spiritual attachments to them. So we have to use our discernment as to what is pleasing to God and what is not what's pleasing to the flesh and what's pleasing to the spirit, what edifies the spirit and what edifies the flesh. And we have to be careful when we're trying to, when we're trying to live a life that's so focused on the law that we forget about our relationship with God. We have to be careful about trying to force people to look like us, to talk like us, to live like us, to act like us, to shout and dance like us. We have to watch that because with, because with the spirit of religion, it moves you away from God. It does not draw you to him. It doesn't nurture a relationship with the Father at all. It does not want you to know him in the fellowship of his suffering. It doesn't want you to know the mysteries of who he is. Because if you ever get free from that spirit, your eyes, not just in the physical realm, become open, but your, in the spiritual realm, they become open. And you start to see what God has been trying to show you the whole time. Some and 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 I'm and I'm even gonna apply this to the situation with the Brett and Judy's wedding with Leandria Johnson singing at it. The spirit of religion will keep you from ministering in places you're supposed to be ministering in. It will keep you from going into areas where God wants you to be a witness for him. He wants the light that's on the inside of you to shine. The spirit of religion don't want that. 
The spirit of religion wants you to follow the law to the letter. But the Bible says that the letter killeth, but the word maketh alive. So, with that being said, we have got to train people that there is a balance in God. He does not mind you wearing pants. He ain't hung up on your pants. He's not hung up on you wearing jewelry. He's not hung up on you on, on, on you wearing makeup. He's not. Now, he does say in his word, don't let your outward appearance be the only thing that made, that's made up. That's in, I, I believe it's the first Peter or second Peter. I'm not sure. You can go out and buy me a check. Don't let that be the only thing that you made up on the outside. Make yourself up on the inside. You're going to be done up, you know, face beat to the gods, hair done to the gods, all of that. Make sure that's what you look like inwardly. Make sure that's how you are presenting yourself to him inwardly. However you're feeling on the outside, on the inside, it's going to come out anyway. So you trying to downplay it by not wearing any makeup, any earrings, jewelry, whatever, is not going to work because all of that stuff come out. That's why even when every time Jesus got into a, a debate with the Sadducees and the Pharisees, he would call out this stuff right on the mark, right, right on the spot, right there. He left nothing out, nothing. Called them a broad of vapors, hypocrites, right to their face. Straining out a gnat. Come on now. Come on. So we have to really be careful with this stuff. We have to watch this stuff. People are watching us. There are people who... God is who, who are not saved, but God is calling to the fashion industry. He's calling them to be actors and actresses. He's calling them to be jewelers. He's calling them to these different areas. But if you keep lying to the people and saying God ain't in that, these people will miss their destinies and they will miss the purpose and the plan God got for their life and it will be your fault. And God is going to charge you with that. We, we collectively got to watch that because he said he'll whip us with many stripes because we knew better than to tell these people these lies. We knew better, but we went and we did it anyway. Because we were trying to follow the law. Jesus has fulfilled the law. We don't have to fulfill it. He has already fulfilled it. We just got to walk in the statutes and the commandments he gives us. And we need, we need not lead no one else astray. It's people who are still in recovery from being told those things that they were told years ago. There were people who wanted to be athletes, but they, my man, and daddy told them, no, the whole, they, they said that the Lord told them that that is not of me. There are people who should have been models, who should have been fashion designers, who should have been comedians that were told God ain't in that. Completely missed it. Should have been dancers. Missed it. And for the ones that didn't miss it, they got up and left the church altogether. Because they weren't going to be satisfied until they did what they were feeling in their heart to do. Some of them, you can't pay them to go to church right now. We got to stop this. We got to stop this. The young lady that me and my mom were discussing, she did we she did a great job at that basketball game. She did she really did a great job. 
She did a fantastic job. She a fantastic job. She looked great. Her hair was great. Her outfit was nice. Now I wouldn't have wore those heels, but those her, her outfit was nice. Her outfit was really nice. She looked good. She represented God well. Now let us re now let us stumbling over low, all over my words today. Let us represent God well by keeping the demon of religion away. Let's stop putting un unattainable expectations on people that God will never put on us. Let us be kind to people. Let us not lie on people. Let us not lie on God because we've done that too. We won't admit it, but we've done that too. Let us be righteous in everything we say and do. Let us encourage a relationship with God to other people and not religion. Because religion saves no one. It hinders people. It hinders people. Let us be careful, y'all. I love y'all. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.